Hello, my name is Phil Kerner, the Tool and Die Guy, and welcome to Manufacturing Day 2020. You know, it was just about a year ago I met with many of you and maybe some of your fellow students right here in Erie, Pennsylvania at the Bayfront Convention Center, and it was a lot of uh, fun to talk about manufacturing, a trade I love, with you in person. Well, of course, 2020, uh, we really can't do that this year, so here I am in my studio in Erie, Pennsylvania. This is the Tool and Die Guy headquarters. This is where I record training videos that, that go online out to uh, the toolanddieguy.com and out to YouTube and things like that, so I love the trade. So let's start a little bit with a few questions to get the um, program underway. Uh, three people. Three people and three products. You know, like the uh, Ford Motor Company. You've all heard of Ford cars, Ford trucks. Uh, you've all used a light bulb and uh, from the General Electric Company. And you've all uh, either have or want an iPhone, right? And uh, those are three companies that uh, would be Ford, uh, General Electric, and also Apple. And the three gentlemen that started those companies would be Henry Ford, Thomas Edison for General Electric, and of course, uh, Steve Jobs for Apple. Well, what did those three guys have in common? Well, think about that, and, and uh, we'll answer that question when I'm done here after this short presentation. So, back to manufacturing. You know, it's been a very rewarding trade for me. And when we talk about 2020 and this whole pandemic, uh, I'm one of the people that was lucky enough to work through this whole uh, 2020 mess, okay? Uh, the company I work for, uh, ISM, Industrial Sales and Manufacturing right here at Erie, uh, we are deemed essential because of the work we do in transportation and medical. So I worked straight through it, which was great, and uh, that's one of the beautiful parts about manufacturing. And let me tell you, if you're the type of person that uh, likes to look at parts and say, how is that made? Or maybe you take things apart to see how they were made. As long as you know how to put them back together, that's a good thing. And uh, maybe you uh, like to build things. Well, my role as a machinist and a tool and die maker is I get to do that every day. And I'm one of those people that has a very high job satisfaction at the end of every day. It's a real treat after all these years to do that on a daily basis and look at something on my bench and say, I built that and it's right. And the customer's gonna be very happy with that. So when we talk about uh, uh, getting into the trade, uh, I can tell you, I was one time, believe it or not, your age, a uh, young man, and uh, I was thinking about what did I wanna do with my life. Well, I took a drafting class, of all things, in 1975, and I really liked drawing mechanical drawings. Well, I ended up going to the Erie County Technical School, and I got a, uh, my certificate there uh, in uh, tool and die design. From there, I went into a four-year tool and die apprenticeship right here in Erie, Pennsylvania, at a place called Anson Tools and Gages, had a wonderful apprenticeship, and guess what? When I was done, I was certified by the state of Pennsylvania as a journeyman tool and die maker. Now, what does that certification mean? Well, the fact that I completed that apprenticeship gave me two things, right? I was certified to, uh, by anybody when I would walk into a shop, I would get hired, number one, because I had that. And number two, it also, uh, as time would go on and I would start my own tool and die shops, it enabled me to uh, train apprentices for the state of Pennsylvania. So I'm a big believer in apprenticeship programs and training. So let's talk a little bit about the difference uh, between what I call the tool and die machining trades, which I call the Cadillac of the trades, and some of the other uh, options you might have when you uh, graduate, right? So if you go to college, which is, I am not anti-college, okay, uh, you're gonna come out of college with some sort of a degree, hopefully a usable degree, and thousands of dollars in debt. Now, the beautiful part about an apprenticeship is that when you train under a company that's certified to train you, uh, you're gonna get paid during that whole time and walk away in two or four years with a certification from the state saying you know what you're doing. Again, like me, it served me well for many, many years, okay? And uh, I'm, again, a lucky guy to come through um, 40 years plus in a trade never been laid off once, all right? So let's talk a little bit about uh, advancing yourself in manufacturing. You know, it's like any other career. You've got to apply yourself, right? And I was crazy when I was your age, after I would go to work all day, I would take night school classes, and I even took night school classes that weren't required, because I wanted to own a shop someday, and I never wanted to, anybody that worked for me to be able to tell me that's not how you do it, all right? So it paid off very well for me. Um, if you love working with your hands, and I always say this, um, the room, there's always room for people in this world that know how to build things. If you get good at a trade, and especially, and I can speak for um, just myself here, 
in the tool and die and machining trades, if you're good at what you do, you'll never be looking for a job. Again, over 40 years in trade, never been laid off, okay? So let's talk a little bit uh, about what I do on a daily basis and why I love my job so much. Again, at industrial sales, I work as a tool maker. And I get to build the really cool uh, fixtures for the company that we put into different machines to hold many parts at once. And I also get to make one or two of this, one of this, three of that. I don't personally run production work. And as you get into the trade, that's where you want to work yourself into. You want to become the go-to guy or gal in your shop, right? And you get there by applying yourself, all right? so. I've had a very rewarding career, and uh, again, the, to look at the things I do every day, uh, I still am amazed that I still have this much fun doing it. So in closing, um, I hope you guys get a little bit more um, of an idea about uh, manufacturing. It's not a dirty job like it used to be. It's a good job. It's a good clean job. And also, uh, let's talk a little bit about those three guys I mentioned at the beginning, Henry Ford. Thomas Edison and Steve Jobs. What did they have in common? Well, what they had in common was none of them went to college. In fact, Steve Jobs did go for a semester and quit. And those three guys created three of the most uh, valuable companies that the world has ever seen, all right? Because they all were thinkers and tinkerers that were always looking for a better way to do things. So, uh, again, I'm not anti-college at all. But I can speak from experience and read up on those guys, Edison Ford and Steve Jobs. And uh, biographies are a good way to learn about the trade and about the people who founded these companies. But they were companies that built things. And their highest paid employees were even the people who built things for them. All right. So please uh, send forward your questions, your, uh, whoever your instructor is, they can get back to me. I hope to see you soon at a tour at industrial sales and manufacturing. I enjoy doing the tours. I enjoy meeting young people who are interested in the trade. And I look forward to hopefully seeing you at industrial sales and for sure uh, maybe next year at the Manufacturing Day 2021. Again, I'm Phil Kerner, the Tool and Die Guy, and uh, hope to see you in the trade soon.